back to Style Trails. I hope everyone's doing great. And for today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I achieved this Alia Bhatt's new look from her movie Rocky and Rani Ki Prem Kahani. And this look is such a classic look. It can be worn with Indian or Western wear. And um, all the products that I've used in this entire video will be linked down below just in case. Also, the Amazon beauty sale is going to start from the 22nd till the 26th of July. So get shopping on all your beauty stack and now without wasting any time let's get started so i'm going to start with the primer i'm going in with the plum prime set go face primer this just blurs out all the pores and gives a very smooth finish now for my base i'm going to mix this elana strobe cream with my fit me foundation just taking one pump on the foundation and some strobe cream and mixing it i'm just going to dot the foundation all over leaving my under eye area otherwise it just becomes super cakey if i do that Whatever the excess is, I am just blending it on my neck. I'm using this powder puff to blend all of the foundation. Now this powder puff is really really great. I randomly got it from Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description. So do check it out. It's really worth the price. You get 7 for just like 170 or 150 So my base is all done and it looks very very natural. Almost like a second skin. For my concealer, I'm going in with my all-time favorite. That's the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser. This is actually my second purchase and I absolutely love this product. It's so, so beautiful. I'm in the shade Medium. Again, just blending it all in. Whatever extra product that's left, I'm just going to pat it on my eyelid to create a base for my eyeshadow as well. If you guys have seen my Clean Girl makeup look, you guys know that I thrive on this concealer. I'm going to set my under eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Compact. I'm just going to pat the product under my eyes. For my eyes, I'm going to use this Nikake Autumn Spice Eyeshadow Palette. Taking this bottom center shade as my transition shade. All of these shades from the palette are super pigmented and are perfect for, you know, festive makeup since the palette is completely neutral. I'm just going to dab this dark brown shade all over my eyelid until my crease. I'm slowly just going to build the pigment up. Then taking the same blending brush, I'm going to blend it all in. Now to create that subtle black smoky eye, I'm going to take the plum casual and I'm just going to draw a line over my eyes. You don't really have to be very specific with the line you're drawing since we're going to blend it and smudge it out. Next, I'm going in with the Pop Extra Drama Queen eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use the black shade in this. I'm just going to start smudging the outline that we just created. Repeating the same steps on the other side as well. Now that the basic eyes are done, for my lower lash line, I'm going to line my waterline with the plum kajal now that the waterline is costly done i'm going to smudge it out and blend it by using these two shades from the pop exo palette the dark brown and the black one i'm going to take the dark brown shade first and slowly start blending out repeating the same on the other side as well now that the eyes are almost done i'm quickly going to curl my lashes and go in with my color bar mascara the best hack to get voluminous lashes is to just wiggle your mascara wand and then go up. I'm going to set my eyebrows with the second wand that you get in this mascara. This is like very light. Okay, so eyes are all done. I'm going to proceed with the remaining base. Taking the Revlon Super Dewy Liquid Blush as my blush today. I've just taken a tiny bit of amount and I'm going to spread it on my fingers and then just apply it on my cheeks. This one is insanely pigmented but it just blends out so seamlessly. She has a very matte look but I'm just going to add a tad bit of highlighter. I'm using the Revlon Forever Flawless Eyeshadow Palette. I'm taking the shade Magnetic. Taking the leftover on my brow bone. For my lips, I'm going in with this combo. I'll leave the details in the description and on the screen. And this looks extremely light. I'm just going to go in and dab this shade all over. So this is it for the makeup. Now a complete look transition. This is it for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And tell me in the comment section below, what do you think of this look? And all the products that I've used in this entire video are linked down below in the description. So do check it out and I will see you guys in my next video super soon.